Is this how you greet the Saren to after all this time? I had to see for myself. <laughs> Not even a flinch this one. Fearless like a Zeswa. Or perhaps just slow. That depends on if I was the target. My name is Nassim, Oloiktan, of the Zeswa. And no warrior in Pandora can best our spears. <laughs> then you have not seen us fight. I heard you got those pompous weavers out of their tree. But the Sky People ravage our lands too. We know them all too well. I should get Alma. Speak your own mind, Ritnella. We have the same enemy. We must fight together. So our envoy will come to you, just as our people once did. My sister Minang hunts beneath the celebration arches, Woria. Fly the signal kite like our riders do, and she will answer your call. Make sure you prepare before you go meet the Zeswatsahi. It is a long journey to the Upper Plains. entrance to the cave. Raise the signal kite.
Nassim sent me to speak with the Saik of the Zeswa. Then we have found each other. You have been missed. <laughs> Mina! The Saturn to tread the grass again. Let us ride the wind and celebrate by the fire. We will hear your tales like we used to. Sister, you must give the warrior time to adjust. Breathe our air, feel our earth beneath their feet. Meet the Zakru. Who is the Zakru? Our wards and our guardians. Our home and heart. The home of our people wanders, warrior. It is never in the same place. But we leave kites in its wake. Flying high. So you always know how to get home. <laughs> you already think like a Zeswa. Now we will teach you to ride like one. Would not. First, you must find a dire horse. Any will do. Our bond with them is short lived. Move slowly, be calm. Then make the bond and get on. Thelan, the Zeswatzai taught me to ride a dire horse. No way! <laughs> Did you name them already? It's a little different. Bonding with them is only temporary. Oh, well, it's still pretty cool, though. How does it feel, riding one? Strong, <laughs> powerful. But they don't turn like any gun does. <laughs> Guess they don't fly as well, either. <laughs> No, but they make crossing these plains a lot faster. It's all so vast and open here. It's so different.
That's it. I found it. as they compete. Oh, to be that young again. To bend like a sapling. <laughs> Excellent. Your best brawl by far. Do they ever get hurt? <laughs> Our people have hot heads and warmer hearts. When the Zakru walk, we follow. And when they rest? We let the ground learn our feet as we dance, the air our voices as we laugh and sing. I wish I was as strong and fierce as your people. Then you need to drink more Zakru milk. <laughs> we boil it, Curd it with thistles into fresh cheese, and leave it to cure with savory dry leaves. And with the way we brew Zanke, the fire that brightens our celebrations. The legend says Zakru are stones made into beasts. Ever since the first Zakru offered us shelter, we have had music, joy, and merry. I have a surprise for you, but we need a gourd of fresh Zakru milk. How could I should have one? There is something I must do across the stream. It is part of the surprise. Take your time to walk around and meet the Zeswa. Our fearless riders are famous even beyond the grasslands. And there is someone in the nursery eager to meet you. Get arrows, then... And leave. Got it. Do not tell her I said this. But the wise herds are much too crumbly. Damus said he has seen signs of a migration. So he knows the Zaku better than Tukru does now? He very nearly is a Zaku. The way he talks to him. Your dire horse looks so powerful. Yo, you speak like the sky people. All creatures are like property to them. But she doesn't belong to anyone. I know. They are free. As free as we are. And each is unique, like you and me. This one enjoys the company of Zaku. She finds their calm soothing. Do you ride? I've been practicing. If you want to learn our ways, you must master it. Dire horses are everything to my people. They help us carry our tents. We hunt with them. We fight with them and charge as one. Our bellowing war cries echoing in the plains, shrinking the hearts of our enemies. Don't worry, Sarentu. Those are just stories. How it was in the times when such things were needed. Those times may return soon. If they do, we will be ready. She and I both. Don't 
dire horse riding is art. I will not hear otherwise. The planes have their patterns. Pay heed on this change. Yours is a new clan to me. Being out on the plains clears my head. You know, I almost fell during that last climb with it. Yet here you are, safe and not. The Saren too, visitor. Gossip precedes you. I hope it's good gossip. Just that you are a warrior in the making. Alas, nothing juicy. I've met Kin. He asked me to find milk. Oh, Kin. His jokes used to be the joy of the clan. But he has not been the same since Sosu left. Here, fresh milk, graciously shared with us by the Zakru, the foundation of our strength. Who is Sosu? Kin's Zanke drinking partner. Have you not heard? He became the burden carrier. He left the clan, forever, carrying that dreadful weight on his back. That must have been very difficult, to leave everyone you love behind. Tis a sad honor, but he took our burdens away, so we travel light. Thanks to Sosul, when the Zakru walk, we can follow. Asleep? Mm -hmm. Her name is Ko Akte. She does as the grown ups do. You have built your home around them. They must be deep sleepers. Mm -hmm. They don't just sleep, but feed. But one day they will wake up and leave to look for fresh soil. When they do, we will follow. You are travelers, like my people. Like they used to be. I've only heard stories about the Sarentu. My mother said when she taught one how to comb a Zakru's mane. But he tripped and fell into the milk vat. Um... But every time they visited, they would raise the celebration kites. And everyone would gather, dance fight, drink Zanke. Your clan was loved. And now, you are here. We will celebrate again.
Awa smiled on me the day I found my calling. It is a gift, an honor. Should have seen me chase that arrow deer. <laughs> I am a proper hunter.
the milk. Just in time for your surprise. Go, pour it. What's his name? Ah, Pasu. It means berry. Like this, he likes them best. Pasu. It doesn't look very tasty. <laughs> they are not for eating. They make him feel beautiful. Here. friends now. And Zakro, never forget a friend. Have the sky people made a pet of you? <laughs> How a... Ah, did you hear that? It means the sisters are back. Let us feast on cheese and zanka. We will toast on the return of Sarantu. But someone must raise the celebration kites. It is an honor your people used to enjoy. That will give everyone the signal. They have not yet learned to smile. the mark of the Sarentu. Come closer. Let me have a look at you. Another scout from the rainforest gifted me this. I did not dare refuse, but I cannot cook to save my life. Please, have it, and honor their generosity. Oh, I 
down. One more to go. This kite calls in the storm of our celebration. The honor of raising the final kite is yours, Samsu. It is good to be back in the herd. Now everyone will know we stand together. The last visit of the Sarantu was many migrations ago. You return now to bring us new stories. Stories of war, of resistance. And this time, we will tell them together. Now we hold the same spear, and we ride as one. So, what do you think of our lands? They're stunning, and so vast, I wish I could fly. But my Ikran won't answer my call. The wind of the plains is merciless. Ikran need to know you will keep them safe. The Ikran riders can teach you how, if you find them in Ewa. In the Chamber of Echoes, it is not far. With our circle on your back, walk by the leaning tree and past the hill. They are off on another of their mindless hunts. Not mindless. Never mindless. The Sky People don't do anything without a plan. I can try to find out what it is. Find the riders in Ewa, warrior. Fly, Yoikan. We will strike the Sky People's camps from above. See you, traveler. I know this was foolish, my love, but I cannot fix any of it. Sarintu, you have seen our clan's kites, I am sure. We made the most beautiful kites once, Naku and I. We wove our love into every fiber, and now... Now that Naku is gone, I cannot bring myself to make another kite. I gathered all those we had made and flung them from the heights. As if that would make things better. Maybe it felt good in the moment. To get rid of reminders. It was foolish. An impulse. Something Naku could always quiet in me. Throwing the kites away did nothing but insult the memory of my love. Perhaps some are still out there, 
Snagged on shattered bridge or tossed along the mother of rivers. I hope not all are lost to the winds. You seem awfully young for an envoy. One day we will be on the move again. See what I have. Keep your head high. I think we need more scouts. think I can take them on. Big mistake. Here. I would rather trade art, but I believe you will have use for this. Times are changing. Good to see you, girl. Thelan? The RDA are up to something here. I'm going to check out some of their camps. Are there some crew there? They look huge. It seems that they stick their tongue in the ground to eat. They are huge, but very gentle. I think you'd like them. I think I would. So let's keep the RDA away from them. I'll keep monitoring their channels. Whoa!
with my people. We need to find the right angle to look at it from. Quite a view. What... What if the actual purpose of these totems is just to capture the beauty? Maybe to show it to the future generations? To teach the children to take a moment and appreciate the land. The sky above, the water below. To breathe it all in and carry it over for those to come. Hey, Rinella? I found more of our people's totems. There might be even more of them than we thought. Still feeling inspired, I hear. Maybe even more than that. I have this strange feeling. It's almost like remembering. Maybe that's just what I want to feel. But it's like I've seen these totems before. Somehow.
Hey there. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. There you go. Listen up. I want you to set up schedules with Tuscan Talon camps for drop-offs at the lodge. 
There's too much traffic. We're attracting attention. Coordinates are attached. Did you catch that, Belan? Yeah. But what are they dropping off? And what is that lodge? I see a friendly face. Wondrous times. Join us. She is a curious one, to be sure. 